home and I will live alone A grand apartment is our home In a fair home towers I have to keep me company Two cats, a dog, a pair of keys. Yes! It's a prerequisite. We're queens. We're divas. Plus, I'm the biggest transformation in the show. I'm a little Latino dude, straight up and down. But for me to go from a Latino dude to the Jewish princess of Bette Midler and be in the business for 32 years and I'll be on the strip performing seven nights a week after traveling the country, I'm still at the top of my game. The customers come in with thought. Divas is the world's largest and most amazing drag show in the world. I mean, this is the pinnacle. When you get to be on a Las Vegas stage performing as a female impersonator, it doesn't get any bigger than this. For so many years, uh, female impersonation's been so taboo, but it started so far back. It started with Kabuki, it started with Shakespeare, it went to Milton Berle in the 50s. When I put on the dress at night, for me it's just a costume. Uh, maybe other people get different feeling from it, but it's going to work. A clown goes to work, they put on the clown. An actor goes to work, he puts on whatever character he's playing. I am playing whatever celebrity I'm impersonating, and that's what I do for a living. So I'm the first one to want to get out of it, I'm the first one to want to get home and do the business side of it as well. It's show business, and that second part of that word is really not a mistake. Maybe we're all struggling with our, you know, masculine and feminine side. Uh, my feminine side has its own paycheck. <laughs> Frank and Divas is kind of um, the Broadway. The first entertainer I saw was Cher, and it changed my life. I thought the magic of transformation was just insane. It took me on this emotional roller coaster, and um, that feeling I wanted to give back to someone that was looking for an, an escape maybe possibly from themselves, which I would. So when I first got to Vegas 30 years ago, I went into the Riviera Hotel, which they're now demolishing, in a show called An Evening at Lacage. Um, it was a great show, and what put us on the map was in 1986, Joan Rivers sued me for $5 million, which thank God we settled because I was like 80 bucks short at the time. P.S. We became best friends since then. I did all her daytime shows, her nighttime shows, her QVC. I was just on Fashion Police before she passed, and we became great friends. That show, because of the lawsuit with Joan Rivers, literally lasted 25 years. I love working with Frank Marino. I think Frank Marino is a brilliant businessman, and I really think that he stepped up the game in female impersonation from what we were at Lacage to now what we are at Divas. As a boss, I really try to be fair, but I'm also probably the way I would have been if I were a parent. I'm very strict. My name's on that product, so if you're gonna screw up, I'm gonna mention it to you, and hopefully you're gonna fix it. Can you see that? Yeah, I see that. Does that work? Yeah. Um, Frank Marino is a larger than life person. with me, no exaggeration, three, maybe 400 of them in there. So right away, you know, I was like, fuck you, I'll walk. <laughs> we built this show from the ground up, and we, we want to make it happen, you know, we want it, we want it to last and we want to get along and make it work. I auditioned Madonna last night and I don't say auditioned, uh, I, I rehearsed it basically um, and we wanted to change the lip sync in the beginning because I think it's Madonna singing even it's an overtone in, the, in, in her concert, right. in the show it looks funny so we're going to change that. So we're constantly evolving the existing show. In the beginning when the song starts, that's not her singing. What's up? All right, thanks guys. Go. Can, can you play the beginning of the song just for a second? It doesn't look like it's a backdrop. Could you try doing it? Well, I mean, I could, but she, like I said, I have, she never does. So, wh who's singing it? She's it's singing. It's a backtrack. In concert, she's not. Nobody's singing there. He, he's the boss, and it has to be his way, and and that's the final answer. You know, he's a workhorse. He's the wizard behind the curtain that runs the show. Hey, don't, don't lip sync it. Maybe that's why, because they're thinking that you're missing the words and you're really thinking it's background, and they don't know that. But that's not my fault that they don't know it's background. I know, but it, it's, I'm telling you as an audience, it you know? really looks bizarre. You know, families get along and they don't get along. Some days you have wonderful days, some days you just want to just like, <laughs> you know, but you can't do that, you know, because we all have to work together. Where would you say is the biggest partner? Wow, that's beautiful. How cool. 
And this is where you get ready? This is where I get ready. I stand defend. Oh, that's a lot of hair. <laughs> Nobody has the right to be the judge of what is right for me. Tell me if you can what makes a man. Uh, Drug to me isn't a job. If it wasn't my career, I think I would still do it. Now that I'm celebrating my 30 years in Las Vegas, I think it's time I take it to the whole world. So my idea for the future is to get a Winnebago, of course designed Frank Marino style, go around the country and meet these impersonators that otherwise might not have the money to fly out and do an audition, and I'll go to their homes, I'll audition them, and who knows, I might find a hidden gem. My mom and I will live alone. A grand apartment is our home in a fair home town.